guys, welcome back to another Jungle's Travels. And I'm actually travelling again today. Yay! So I'm actually heading over to Leeds. Because there's a beautiful little water mill over at Leeds that I'm going to have a look at. And there's a nice little park up here, canal. So I'm basically, I'm going to head to the water mill tonight. Park up by the canal for tonight. Chill out. As you do. Just up some food. And then tomorrow, I'm going to have a look at the water mill. But, tonight's vlog will be me just by the canal, chilling. I'll show you a beautiful little park up. Assuming I'm allowed to park there. On Google Earth, it looks like it'll be alright to park there. But don't hold your breath on it. You never know until you get there, do you? Some muppet just going past me in a G-Wagon. Really, really fast. Somebody there with a nice big caravan as well. Anyway, so we're heading over to Leeds. Well, it's not actually Leeds city centre, it's Leeds area. We'll see, anyway. We'll see you guys on the road. So right now, heading over Saddleworth, lower to the motorway, M62. So join me. And we'll go to Leeds together. And the camera will fall off. So join me and we'll go to Leeds together. Let's see where we end up. Farmyard in the middle of the motorway. Between the two carriages. Beautiful little farm. Legend does it, he refused to move. Is it true? Did he really refuse to move? By the way, it's a famous sight now, isn't it? There you go. Guys, I've arrived by the side of the canal in Leeds, Woodlesford. There you go, Woodlesford. Now then, I've got a slight dilemma because the layby I saw on Google Maps, I went the other way and that's a gate locked. And this looks like the access point, but it's uh, Canal and River Trust only. So if you've got a barge on it, then you can go down there. But the lady there has just told me the gate gets locked. So, where to park? Now I could park where I am now and chance it there for the night but there are signs saying Canal and River Trust only However, there isn't a sign for parking here So I'm thinking I might just pop my boy here and uh, leave it there for the night I think it'd be quite safe there, won't it? Anyway, I'm going to take a little walk along the canal where we can still see a bit of something. See what happens. Join me. But so far, it actually looks quite nice. See, there you go. If you can just see that. Woodford Lock. Leisure moorings. Berth holder parking only. Please close and lock the gate. Now, I can see the gate lock swinging, but somebody obviously hasn't closed it. It's a beautiful place though, this. Gaz's Garden. So this actually looks, I hope you can still see me. 
this actually looks like quite a big lock. Not like the ones we see up in Saddleworth. This is like a wide berth lock, this. Hence the reason why I think you've got a lock keeper's cottage. Cottage? Cottage. It looks like it's all controlled by pump up there. So this is actually a really big lock. Hmm. We'll see it better in the morning. It looks like somebody's got a wood burner going over there as well. So I might get parked up properly and then uh, have a wander down the canal. See if we can see anything while it's still light. Be interesting to see this working. Look at the big pump. Yeah. Right, so you saw a little glimpse of the canal. You see where I'm parked. Um, now I'm going to rustle up some dinner. So what are we having tonight? Well, I'm going to do some cheeseburgers. Nice and simple. Cheeseburgers and then I'm going to chill out and watch the canal. Just spoke to a few of the canal people, they're all really lovely people. And apparently where I'm parked, not a problem. Excellent. So, need a bit of the olive oil. What do you reckon? Cheeseburgers. Olive oil or olive oil with garlic? Should we go for the garlic? Give the burgers a bit of a garlic tint? Why not? Right. Right. So we've gone for the garlic oil. Let's go pop a little bit of garlic oil in. I suppose really, you could use butter couldn't you, if you had butter with you, but as we don't have a fridge in the van, so we're not using butter. We want it on a low heat, that warm up, now let's dig out the old cheesy burgers, Linda McCartney specials. So it says oven or grill. So technically it's a grill, isn't it? It's just an on top grill. Okay. So what we'll do, keep that clear as light and sure. There we go. While that's grilling, we shall get the old uh, border chopping out. Always handy to have a chopping board in the van. Keep the oil actually because it might need a little bit more, you never know. Right, we need a knife. And then we need an onion. Which I think I've still got one in here. I hope I have. That could be a schoolboy error, couldn't it, if I don't have an onion? Right, slight problem, got no onions. Scratch the onion, we're not having onion. What I do have, however, I went to the shop earlier, I got some mushrooms. So I just have the mushrooms. Cheese and mushroom burger. Cheeseburger without onions, gutted. Right. Gutted I am. Mm. Nice bit of fresh onion there. What I've got to make sure to do is not fall back into my Cornish accent when I'm cooking. Because that would be silly, wouldn't it? Although someone did request that I do more cooking with jungle. In fact a few people have actually said, why are you gonna why don't you do more cooking in the van? So I'm doing more cooking in the van for you. Hope you're all appreciative. Why are people obsessed with watching people cook in vans? All these van life channels, you all seem to love watching us cook. The burgers stuff. There you go. Oh, look at that, you even get the nice little grill marks on it. It's beautiful, that, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? I'm not doing that again. I tried to be serious. Right. Give that a couple of minutes. It says 15 minutes under the grill, so... Yeah. 
Give me a few minutes and then I'll chop the mushrooms in. Onions, I keep saying onions. I haven't got any onions on me. Gutted I am. Right. <clears throat> Could do tomatoes. I've got some baby tomatoes. Mm. Don't really like tomatoes on my cheeseburgers. I know what you're thinking. He's probably forgot the cheese. Well, he hasn't. Yeah. Actually, bought some. Sliced mature. That's it. I thought I'd buy the pre-sliced stuff because I can't bother cutting it. Mm. And, got some bread. I haven't forgot that. I'm not having that today. I'm going to do a cheese toasty for breakfast, I think. But I've got a couple of muffins. And I may, may toast them. a little bit, just a little bit. So while I was talking to a lady at the gate, I actually saw somebody come through and lock the gate. So I just spoke to her and said, am I alright parking here? She said yes. She explained that the car park next door, I should have been alright in there as well. She said, it is a bit light here under the street light. I said, no, it's safer under the street light, I'll stay here. I don't mind. Um, but yeah, she said, it's fine parking here. And then, we were talking about the canal, and like I said, the canal is quite wide. As you can see, it's got a pump house here. Pump house? Gate house, gate house. It's got a gate house to open the lock, because it's a wide berth canal. And she said every Tuesday and Thursday, there's actually a massive big barge that just fits through, comes through carrying silt and stuff further up to one of the bigger canals up the road. So that'd be quite interesting to watch, but I'm not going to be here Tuesday or Thursday. But I might come back for it one day. That would be really interesting to see that. But hopefully, tomorrow, I'll be able to get to see that lock in action. And then, the plan is... I'll probably leave the van here. And then take a mountain bike ride down, down the road. And see what we can see. Because there's a big country park down there and... Yeah, it's a really nice spot. She did also tell me if I go to the next marina down, that there's actually parking right on the canal bank, which is fine. So if anybody wants to park up in places like this, this is not too bad. But the one further down, you can park right on the canal bank. If I can find out the name for it, I'll let you know. Oh, beautiful that is. What do you think? Lovely, isn't it? Simple enough, they nicely. I've got to say, these ridge monkeys are bloody good. Look at that. That's gorgeous, that is. These are probably some of the nicest Linda McCartney's burgers I've ever cooked. And that's saying something because they do cook them quite a lot. The pulled pork ones are quite nice as well. Hmm. So, bit of cheese. Cheese of cheese. Also, while I'm cooking, I'd like to say thank you to Roy, my sister's boyfriend. 
Uh, good lad. Apparently he got sick of the wind noise on my microphone. Which a few people have mentioned. So he's bought me a, a muff that was around the mic, the camera from mic. So here, I've got a present for you, so I'm sick of listening to your wind noise. So cheers Roy. It's working lovely. I did have the option tonight also of meeting up with some friends. Um, the ones who I went to Shrewsbury with. They're all, you know, like two brothers, they're getting together again. But I thought we're supposed to be social distancing, aren't we? So I thought I'll just come and just mosey along on my own. All by myself. I don't know why I'm looking under it like that, I can just flip it, can't I? do that can I? Check it out that way. Right. I think them are looking uh, pretty stunning actually. Oh in now. There's a bit of cheese on the top, isn't it? See? See you don't need McDonald's, do you? You need McJungle. Just start my own franchise, should I? McJungle burgers. Vegetarian drive through. There's an idea for somebody there. Vegetarian drive throughs Yeah. Oh, that's going to be lovely, that is. Right, we need some sauce to go on it. Bit of brown. I think. Yeah, nice bit of brown sauce. And, where is she? Tonight's tipple. Normally I go for a can of hobgoblin, don't I? Well, tonight I decided to go for a, a Jack Daniels and Coke in a can. Why not? Oh, beautiful. I, I would actually flip it here, but last time I did that, the cheese stuck to the roof and I didn't get it off again. I ended up losing half my cheese there, isn't it? I don't want to lose half my cheese. I'm still gutted about my onions. Look at that! Beautiful! Oh, I need to be nice for you to get it out. Ah, oh, look at that beauty! There we go! She's on top there. Yeah. Turn that off. Right, let's get the mushies on there. Lovely. Kids, McJungles, McJungles Veggie ba Burgers, in association with Linda McCartney's. Bit of brown sauce on, because you can't have a sandwich without brown sauce, can you? Some of you are going to say, oh, you need to have ketchup. I ain't got ketchup in the van, so. Generally, from making them at home, I would have ketchup, mustard, and pickled gherkins on. Anyway, that is bloody lovely. Hmm. Very lovely, that is. Cheers. 
Oh, perfect. Right, I'm going to enjoy this. Enjoy that. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed my birds. I know I would. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. Fitting what's the canal? So that guy there was parked in front of me, <coughs> and he's um, he's just rolled back. I think he's just scraped the side of his car in the wall. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. I don't think he meant to do that. He's now went into the little car park. Hmm. Oh well. As they say. It happens. This is the life. Chilling by the canal, listening to the water flowing. Jack and Coke. The jungle burger. That's a really peaceful. I actually prefer being in the van than being at home. I love just being out exploring. Finding little gems like this. Places you never knew existed. Rather than sitting watching TV and just wasting your life with a 9 to 5 routine, getting out exploring. Showing you guys new places. See a little pink out over there? Tip to window. Probably smelt my wonderful burgers. Hello. Goodbye. No onions on the seat, that's why they want them. Tree there. I can see a bird. For a minute there, I thought it was real. Yeah, I think it was once. Let me show you. Let's see it. Actually, you know, it's um. It's a wood carving. Oh, there you go. Wasn't real ones. Right, guys. I'm going to leave it there and say thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little uh, just cooking vlog this time. Number 18. Daily vlog number 18. Never said it to start with, did I? Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a nice day. I'll have a nice evening. I hope I will, anyway. Unless you see uh, an extra bit after this, and I haven't. But if you don't, have a nice evening. See you later.